Hello! Deadly Habit here with another episode of Gentleman's Gaming Corner Impressions. Today we are going to take a look at Garshas, the Monster Slayer. Yes, this is an indie game uh, from an Iranian dev team. Uh, dev team of nine people from Iran. Yes, you heard right. Um, it's it's a pretty ambitious project. It's, uh, I think the name of the studio is Dead Mage Studio, if I'm correct. I just actually beat this game, and I kind of wanted to do this while it was fresh on my mind. Um, I saw... <laughs> there's a lot of negative and a lot of positive to this game. I'll just start a new game as I get into it. Go with normal difficulty. Uh, one thing I will say is you are going to want to have a gamepad for this. This is in the tradition of the God of War series, Prince of Persia. Uh, except it's indie. It, it doesn't have the cash behind it that those do. The millions to develop. But for what it is, it's... Those days have been wiped out of memories. The days when the raging river of eternal time still flowed. Yes, this is based on uh, Iranian mythology, were too, which is cool. The chaos of war and the fire of anarchy. In those days, those old days, Great Garshasp, the mighty Persian warrior, was still young and seeking to make a name for himself. Little did he know of the incredible destiny ahead. The destiny that became legend. In poems the bards sang. In stories the merchants carried to the four corners of the land of Persia. Okay, yeah, let's get to it. The graphics for, for being an indie game are amazing in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really need that. <laughs> Having beat the game, I know the combat. Uh, one of the complaints you'll see from people is the hitboxes on enemies. Um, I didn't really notice that so much. I don't know, maybe. But uh, the, one of the things that did kind of irritate me is uh, some of the animations, though. That you're invulnerable when you're doing uh, execution moves like that. Ashmogs, those evil man-eating creatures, only left their dens on command of a div. Seeing yes, them in the mountains was unexpected to such an extent that Garshasp immediately felt a premonition about dreadful events happening in his town, Ariasp. Okay, I think we go to FMV now. The FMV is actually surprisingly good too. Same thing with the voice acting in this. I, I love the character design of this, honestly. Like I said, I'm a fan of the graphics for being in any game. It's, I, I think it was a pretty damn ambitious undertaking. To take on a genre that's pretty much known for by, like, God of War at this point. Uh, some of the issues come in is with the camera angles. It's a fixed camera game, so some of the angles are bad, and... At times, the camera will bug out. Execute. Ah, I don't have any combos yet. Damn. Yeah, as, as you progress, um, that bar beneath the blue bar is my experience bar with the weapon. So, the more I get that, I unlock different combo moves and special. You also have counters. Let's see if I can do one. Ah, damn it. I don't need to count up the enemies on that part. <laughs> and there's something else. There are animations like that that derp out. Ah, okay. Blood. Yes, you can block. Add, and, okay. That's another thing that's kind of irritating. These, these pop-ups, you can't skip past them or turn them off. 
that and I'm having frame drops. I even noticed that without traps on. Um, try different resolutions, different settings, I still get frame drops. So instead of a smooth 60 FPS or something like that, right now I'm at like 36. There's times when it jumps from like 30 down, or from 60 down to 30. Which, it, it's just weird because it's not that graphically intensive. <laughs> okay, these give you health. Yes, two types of orbs, one for health, one for experience. Uh, let's see if I can get to some more irritating things about the game. Uh, I'm not going to get to the more irritating platforming, I don't think. Yeah, you'll notice sometimes the camera is just... Okay, yeah, uh, blah blah blah, rolling. What do you do? Oh, first boss fight. And it's pretty goddamn easy. if I can unlock the quick time event on this guy. Yeah, you get, with uh, some of the executions from bosses or uh, the harder enemies, there's quick time events. No, this one I don't think. Block! Attack, attack, attack. Block! Attack, attack. Oh, I don't have a combo. Block! Attack, attack, attack. Block! <laughs> As you can see, it gets kind of easy once you know the mechanics of the game. That breaks through your block. And he's dead. More experience for me, yes. White comes, he seeds. Yeah, you get these seeds throughout the game. These that, uh, once you get four, it expands your health. Hey, we'll get more experience. Up the ladder, yes, here, here we go. We're gonna get to platforming. Even though this part's kinda easy for platforming. The platforming in this game <laughs> is less than perfect. You have the double jump ability, which you often have to use to get across platforms. Yes, hang from it's, it's all pretty much standard affair. The thing that irks me is that you can't skip those. Uh, is that what all those? I think there is something over here. Nope. Okay. Climb the ladder. Yeah, the sound design in this game is something else that's worth mentioning. It's it's really good, in my opinion. Um, the score to it's fitting. <laughs> it's got that epic kind of soundtrack. Kind of like God of War and stuff like that. Uh, but later on in the game, some of the platforming parts you won't grab on immediately. <laughs> like, uh, wedges when you jump onto them like that. Um, it seems random at times, if you ask me. Like, there was this one part I kept jumping at the ledge, and it, it didn't seem to respond. <laughs> like, sometimes he'd grab the ledge, sometimes he wouldn't. And it was frustrating, because it's towards the end of the game, it's one of the harder platforming. Okay, that's the save orb. I think I just saved over the game that I beat the game on, but oh well, I don't really plan on replaying it. Uh, I wonder if I can get to the other annoying part. Uh, this might be a little bit longer than my normal videos, but we'll just get to one of the other annoying parts of the game. Yes, this tells you how to execute. Die, die. Execute. It's kind of a button masher until you get uh, <laughs> the combos. I mean, honestly, I read a lot of semi-bad reviews for this, and also some that praised it for, uh, Indie Studio taking on, obviously, more than the budget would allow, kind of. I, I definitely applaud them as a first effort. This is the first game they released, and the ending of it kind of left it open for a sequel. And, yeah, here we have frame drops. It's down to 28 FPS for a second there. Alright. 
Yes, okay, you're looting at what I need to do. Get it. Okay. There's actually more of a variety of enemies for the against the game. There's not that many. I think I'd probably say 10, maybe 10 to 15 enemy types, if that. But I mean, it's enough. Uh, the one thing I will say is the puzzles aren't exactly challenging. And again, most of these games, the puzzles and stuff like that, never really are challenging. Luck. Roll. Lever. Uh. Die. Experience. Ah. Do, do, do. Uh, what I, what I will say is, don't come into this expecting a triple A title like God of War or Prince of Persia. Say, if you come in with expectations of an indie take on it, um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I mean, despite its flaws, I found this pretty damn enjoyable. Um, it's a relatively short game, around four hours. Um, I think that's exactly how long it took me to beat it. And I don't really see that much replayability, <laughs> if you ask me. I'd love to say there was other modes or something like that, but there really isn't. I mean, I might go back <laughs> sometime and go for a few achievements I'm missing. Like, um, there's, there's some ones I think like, uh, do the whole game without an actual save, do the whole game without using the life orbs, um, beat the bosses without taking any damage, but I think I pretty much did everything else. Okay, let's see if I can get to an annoying part. Da -da -da. Go Garshas. Okay, yeah, I'm almost to it. So, that's... I think this shows more enemy types, too, as I can hear. Oh! I almost have combo skills! No. Catch up with me, camera. Okay, let's go kill those annoying archers. Oh, oh, block. Come on, I know you want to shoot. Uh. Yeah, there's only a few execution animations, and they're dependent on what enemy type it is. So every time I exit it, um, do an execute move, it's going to be that animation for these enemies. Same thing with the other ones. Okay. 280, almost there. Um, you also, eventually later on in the game, you get a second weapon, um, it's Skull Mace. But you don't get it till, eh, it's pretty, I'd say more than halfway through the game, so. I don't know, I didn't use it that much. I ended up maxing out, uh, both weapons, though, pretty easily. Getting all the combos for them. Okay. Da -da -da. Alright, rotate handle, entire direction. And of course enemies come whenever you're trying to do something. Now I really wish I could do the combos right now. Execute. He's dead? No, oh, he's dead. Okay, back to the lever. Oh wait, there's more experience. Okay, back to the lever. <laughs> Alright, that open that. Run through here. Keep continuing upward. I love the music. Bad camera angle. <laughs> okay, stronger enemies. Yeah, wait. This this tells you how to do the finishing moves, the executions on some of the stronger enemies. So you have to wait till 
they get something over their head before they kill them. So, that doesn't stop me from damaging the masses, though. Let's do some counters. Ah, I did the timing right. See? Okay. Here we go. Quick time event. Right. Yeah, quick time event executions. Um, it's something I've... I, I really dislike quick time events, but uh, it's tolerable. <laughs> I've gotten used to it in these types of games. Okay, cool. I just uh, unlocked two of the combos. So light attack, light attack, heavy attack, and hold guard, light attack. You get a rage meter that fills up as you kill enemies, which you'll notice underneath my weapon experience meter. Okay, come on. Let's get back to the game. Yes, using the rage strip. I know this already. <laughs> there we go. There's one of the combos. Ah, I didn't touch. Execute. And changing camera angles. And yes, that was your brother. Yeah, the FMVs. I love that brow on me. I really hope they make a sequel to this, especially with what they've learned from uh, this and the critiques they've got. There we go. That's a counter. The only thing is you're invulnerable during counters, too, and the animations look kind of derpy when you have other enemies attacking at the same time. Uh, let's do the other one. That is the other combo I have right now. Okay, that's... Come on. Too easy. Alright, come on. Unlock. Like I said, the FMVs in this are really good. Especially coming from an indie studio. But then again, that's kind Gosh of how I'm judging this game. found out that Hitosp, the Golden Crowned, had killed his brother Orvash. Oh, he stole stolen the base of the House of Trit. He had left an Akatosh Deev in command of the city and led it for the Temple of Angana. Retaliation for his brother's blood was all that Garshasp could think about now. Ooh, yeah, you will get to see some poor platforming, probably. Ooh, another boss battle. like a mini boss. Yeah, we'll take out those guys now. And there's a health seed. Anything else in this arena? Ooh, looks like I may get to show you. Yeah, I get to show you some derpy platforms. I really want to get to this one aspect besides the platforming. That I think you can fall down there. I'm not gonna risk it. What? Okay, here we go. Bad camera angle platforming. 
And this is also where FPS is dropped. Surprisingly, I've gotten used to it, so I can do it pretty easily now. But yeah, the first time you, you play through it, uh, it's it's incredibly frustrating. <laughs> you don't get used to uh, the, ang the angles with the camera <laughs> and how bad the platforming is. And this is one of the easier platforming segments, too. Okay, what do I have to do with this part? Here we go, this is where I was looking for. Okay, one, one of the other annoying parts of the game. You slide down walls with a knife, and he here we go, I've gotten good at this too. Okay, so you have to avoid... Yeah, when he's sliding down a surface, you can control. His speed can also be maintained. Um, if you hit into things, it'll, it'll say it's going. Um, you have to avoid these lighter segments, and also... <laughs> these outcroppings. They knock you off, and if you get knocked off, you hit the E or whatever you have, find it to your uh, controller to do this. But these sections are pretty damn long, too. That's why they get irritating. It's like, how damn big is this city? Okay, go, go, go. Apparently I can move faster than that. Ah, okay, didn't perfect it. That slowed me down. I don't think enough that I'm going to get hit by those. Yeah, I have no clue whose idea this was. It's kind of a cool concept, but how long it drags on is irritating. Okay, get the help seat. Yeah, whatever. Grab back on the wall. Crap. Yeah, and you lose health every time you hit those, so you can die. Jump! Okay, cool. Beat that. Slow motion! Yeah, but, um, like I said, the game's about four hours. You go through different areas. This is the main city part. You go through uh, a forest, a swamp, and then a cliff area and the main palace battle, which is in the cliffs. But, yeah, like I said, um, great, great uh, first try from an Iranian nine man dev team. Um,. If you, if you come into it not expecting a AAA title like God of War, you, you'll be pleasantly surprised. But despite its flaws, it's pretty damn enjoyable. Um, I don't know if it's worth the 10 bucks full price. It's If you see it on sale, definitely check it out. Alright, this has been Deadly Habit. Peace. So, you like video games. Of course you like video games. That's why you're watching my videos. Head on over to VineSauce.com. Yes, VineSauce.com, where we have a blog with news, interviews, and videos like this. We also have live streaming and a friendly community. So, you've got nothing better to do. That's why you're watching videos on YouTube. Head on over to VineSauce.com.